Hello, thank you for watching. I'm John Windsor Cunningham, speaking clearly. A lot of actors put lots and lots of pauses between words and in the middle of words, little tiny pauses that not even aware of doing. If a word ends in a consonant like the word this and the next word starts with a vowel like the word apple, it can be one word. It can sound like one word, this apple. It's not this apple, it's this apple. And some consonants connect very easily, like S and T, which is why there are hundreds of words in English starting or stopping with the letters S, T, like stop and fast. St. They sound very different consonants, but in fact, the lips don't move hardly when you're saying an S or a T. St. The tongue doesn't move much, the teeth don't move much, but a completely different sound happens. It's so easy for the mouth to make the different sound, that's why there are so many words with S and T together. So if a word ends in the letter S, like the word this, and the next word starts with a letter T, like the word table, we can say this table. It's not the stable or this able, it's this table. Right. And some words some words end in the same letter that the next word begins with. Like when I say the two words speak clearly and I will give you a million dollars, a million dollars to any of you, all of you, because I'm so rich, um, a million dollars to each of you. If you can tell me which of these two words I'm skipping the C out of, because I'm only saying one C when I say speak clearly. I'm not saying speak clearly. So which am I robbing the C of when I say speak clearly? Am I saying spee clearly or am I saying speak early when I say speak clearly? Neither. I'm using one C for them both and making it one word, speak clearly. So we can link words up. And if you use the skip button when you're watching a video and listen to any experienced actor speaking and enjoy listening to the sounds of the speaking voices of people like Sheryl Crow, Audra MacDonald, Christopher Hitchens, or Eddie Murphy, Ronnie O'Sullivan, Bradley Whitford. You're, you don't have to start thinking, oh, how do I link these words up in what I'm going to say? You'll just find it happening to you. You'll naturally notice that there are opportunities in which is in which you can find your linking words up more and you have a smoother voice. Anyway, here's a sentence which I want you to say, please. I want you to say, and I'm going to read it out loud and then leave 10 seconds for you to say it out loud, please. So here's the sentence, and the sentence is, we can easily say a sentence without a pause if every word in it is connected. Right, now, I'll give you 10 seconds to say that out loud, please. Off you go. OK, fine. And now I'd like you to say it quicker, please. Um, and I'll give you five seconds. So off you go. Right. Now, if we look at the first two words, we can. We ends in a vowel, can starts in a consonant. So it can be like the word weak. We can. And the word can ends in a consonant and the word easily starts with a vowel, like the word knee. So we can easily, it can all become one word. And easily, e ends in a sort of vowel sound, e, and say starts with a consonant. So ease. Ease, ease, easily, easily say, we can easily say, so we've got four words sounding like one at the moment, four, we can easily say, uh, now say, say ends in a consonant, followed by a vowel, your, your brother, your sister, say your, and the vowel a uh, is followed by the consonant of sentence, us, say us, say a sentence, and the s sound at the end of sentence, is followed by the letter, the, another consonant of W. 
S followed by W, but there are lots of words with S and W together that we don't have a pause between, like swing and swift, Taylor Swift. So we can say sw together very easily, so a sentence with, not a sentence with, a sentence with. So we can easily say a sentence with, without a, without ends in a consonant followed by the vowel a, so t, without a, pause, a vowel followed by consonant p of pause, a pause, s of pause followed by the, con the vowel of if, pause if, and if consonant of f followed by every vowel, if every, and every followed by the e at the end of every followed by the consonant w of word re every word like the word every word every word word ends in a consonant followed by the vowel of in din n consonant is followed by the i of t knit t is followed by the vowel of is tis 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 and tis and s c is in lots of words like skip and scone and scot so connected is connected so 14 words, if we wanted to, we could say, we can easily say a sentence without a pause if every word in it is connected. We can easily say a word without a pause if every word in it is connected. We don't have to speak quickly. We could say it slowly and still connect the words up. We can easily say a sentence without a pause if every word in it is connected. It just sounds more smooth. Now, I'm not suggesting you go around in your life saying, what's my next thing I'm going to say? Where are the pauses? Now I'll say it. But if you just become aware of this phenomenon, if you realise it exists, if you start listening to people and realising, oh my God, that's why she didn't become president. That's why this church is empty for that priest. That's why this actor isn't getting work. That's why that comedian isn't very funny. Because they don't know how to use this particular aspect of speaking clearly. Oh, and, and, and it's just easier to do. So when you're 105 years old, like me, you'll still be able to speak clearly. Because it wouldn't take so much effort. There we are. I'm already teaching people coming out of prison and actors. I should move on to people who are 105 years old. But that's, um, well, there you are. Get in touch if you want. Bye. Thank you.